Ammonium permanganate synthesis. Warning. Do not eat chemicals you are not supposed to, be careful with dangerous chemicals, and always research what you are going to do. Stay safe and do not risk with yourself or others. Ammonium permanganate is not stable. Keep it in dark dry spot, no longer than few months. In this video, I will show surprisingly easy ammonium permanganate synthesis. I am going to use only two chemicals for this single reaction, potassium permanganate and ammonium chloride. I am basing this reaction on potassium permanganate, I will use 30 grams of it. For that, I'll need little over 10 grams of ammonium chloride, but I'll use 50% excess, so 15 grams. I have already weighted chemicals, now the solvent. For best yield, as little water as possible should be used. Temperature should not break 65 degree mark, Celsius that is, otherwise permanganates start to decompose quite quickly. Therefore, I looked up solubility for both compounds and I will need 30 milliliters of water to dissolve ammonium chloride and 120 for permanganate. I ended up adding a little more water for washing, but like 20 milliliters tops. I have warmed up my water already, but hot plate with stirring will help to keep things warm, while chemicals dissolve. I weighed out water for both chems in appropriate sized beakers and add them to dissolve. Keeping temperature at about 60 Celsius. When dissolved I add chloride solution to permanganate solution, while stirring. Let it stir for a minute. Stop and remove stir bar. I then wrapped beaker in foil, hoping to get larger crystals, but it did not really work this time, I got about the same size crystals when directly putting beaker in freezer. Now just chill the solution to zero Celsius. You can put this in thermos. Larger crystals are possible, but keep in mind, that ammonium permanganate decomposes and does so in noticeable speed when in solution and warm. After two hours in cooling, first in room temperature, then in snow, some crystals formed at the bottom of beaker. It is time to filter, and vacuum filter is the best choice for this, because you want them dry ASAP. I removed the foil and poured solution and the crystals in Buchner funnel, on largest pore filter paper I got, pulling vacuum. Some crystals are washed from beaker with ice water, and that is poured on top. When solution is drained, 
I wash the crystals with some more ice cold water. And pull the vacuum some more, this time I keep it running for few minutes to dry crystals a bit. I wipe off the drops, hanging on sides of the funnel, to make my life 17% easier. This will also grant me 3 wishes on February 29th. I poke the crystals a little, because I am thinking it will help, so it does. Semi-dry crystals are dumped out of funnel and put in warm place to dry. Organic stuff like paper is not the best choice, but it is fine. When dry, I have almost 24 grams of dark crystals with a golden sheen. This is a 92% yield. Quite nice, isn't it? Almost unbelievable. You are probably thinking this is not ammonium permanganate, so I will show the difference between ammonium and potassium permanganates. First start with standard reaction with glycerol, you have seen this with potassium permanganate, but I'll make it so you can compare. Different, isn't it? Not only the reaction is different, but also the speed of oxidation, although crystal size of ammonium permanganate in this test is bigger, reaction proceeds 20 seconds faster. This means that ammonium permanganate is quite stronger oxidizing agent than potassium permanganate. When you heat potassium permanganate, it cracks and jumps everywhere releasing oxygen, but look what happens with ammonium permanganate. Bigger crystals fly like rockets with those manganese dioxide trails. However, as you can see, no detonations. I have heard one or two very tiny supersonic fractures from heating this so be careful.
friction sensitivity is there, but I had to rub it so strong, that it's stupid. Aluminum powder, which I don't have here, makes the mix very impact and friction sensitive. Let's add some glycerol to this fine powder. Nice, reaction blows the drop off the rest of the powder. Decomposition emits so much gases, that the reaction can't contain itself. Like a gunpowder in vacuum. Let's try red phosphorus. Mixing a tiny bit. Okay, got some pops, it would work much better on hard surface. Makes a nice clean flash though. Okay, that is it for now, thanks for watching, subscribe and everything. Bye.